motorcycle. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Bianca and I make motherhood and lifestyle content So if that's the type of content that you'd like go ahead and click that red subscribe button and turn on your bell notification So you don't miss when I post my next video for today's video I wanted to talk about how I tried the egg diet and what my experience was and what my results were one of my girls here Sarah Bisbee tried this diet and when I saw her video, I thought to myself, I don't think I could do that, but then I thought a little harder and I was like, actually, I think I could do that and I wanted to give it a try. I will link her video in the description box below if you want to check it out. For those of you that know me on a personal level, know that I constantly struggle with my weight. It is something that has been up and down pretty much my entire adult life. I used to be one of those kids that could eat whatever I want and not have any consequences and I guess I carried on those eating habits into my adult life and now I do have consequences. So during this pandemic I have heard a lot about the quarantine 15 and I will say I didn't gain 15 pounds but I did gain 8 pounds. Prior to the quarantine I used to go to the gym anywhere from 3 to 5 days a week depending how busy I was that week and I love being in the gym it is something that it's tough to get there but once I'm there I love working out and I feel much better about myself when it's over so I definitely miss going to the gym it has been a struggle for me and just more recently I started going on walks every morning but that just isn't enough I'm craving being in the gym so this has been such a tough time for me but yeah so I gained about eight pounds during this quarantine and I pretty much had enough. I was like, I need to do something about it. So when I saw Sarah post that video, I was like, maybe I should just give this a try. Now I am by no means a medical professional. So if you wanna consult your doctor before trying this diet, then I highly suggest that you do so. Do whatever you're comfortable with. I knew that this wasn't going to be a crazy change for me, honestly. And I didn't think that I was gonna react that poorly to it so I figured it was worth a shot. I started this diet last week on Monday, the Monday after 4th of July, and I did it for three days. I think there are variations of this diet. Some people just only eat eggs and then some people eat other things aside from eggs. So the diet that I followed was I think 900 calories a day. I have everything saved in my phone. So yeah, it was 900 calories a day. So there was breakfast, lunch, a snack, dinner, and then you could have a cup of tea after dinner if you still felt hungry. But I think all three days I didn't even have that last cup of tea. So that Monday morning I did weigh myself. Now I'm not gonna disclose my weight just because I'm not that comfortable with it yet. And I don't have any progress pictures, but this is a work in progress. I'm going to keep working on getting my weight down, but I will share my results after I go through the whole spiel of what exactly I ate during these three days. So for breakfast, I did three eggs and a cup of green tea. I didn't measure the green tea. I kind of just poured it into a mason jar and just drank the whole thing. Since it is summer here and it's like pretty hot, I didn't want to drink hot green tea. So every morning I would set up a pitcher with like five green tea bags and I would boil water and pour it into the pitcher so that the tea bags could steep. And then I would stick the pitcher in the refrigerator so that it would get cold. So I was drinking cold green tea the entire time. So for the three eggs, every morning I would do scrambled eggs and I would put either hot sauce or a sriracha on top. Doing it that way was the easiest for me because I do work full time. Hey there, I completely forgot that I wanted to mention that this is the best diet if you are a busy mom, a working mom, or if you are just one of those people that hate complicated diets because this is extremely low commitment. All right, that's it, back to the video. So yeah, that was my breakfast. Three scrambled eggs with some sort of spice. I heard that you can put salt and pepper in the eggs to make it taste better, but I don't mind eggs. I actually love eggs, so I didn't feel the need to add anything, but then I just did the sriracha or hot sauce on top. And then for lunch, you do three eggs again, an apple and another glass of green tea. So I ended up doing hard boiled eggs for lunch just because I wanted to change it up. I didn't want to do scrambled eggs for every breakfast and lunch every day. So it was easier to just boil some eggs while I was still working. 
Now I spaced my meals out like every three to four hours. That was usually around the time that I would be hungry. And honestly, I wasn't that hungry the entire time. I expected to be hungrier since I was significantly dropping my calories to do this diet, but I wasn't as hungry as I thought I would be. So I was pretty happy with that. And then in between lunch and dinner, you can have a snack. And that snack is another apple and some more green tea. You can sweeten the green tea and I did put like half a packet of Splenda in it. So that took away a little bit of the bitterness. And then for dinner, it's one cup of oatmeal and some water. I pretty much chugged water throughout this entire diet anyway, so it wasn't an issue for me to just have a glass of water with the one cup of oatmeal. Now, I didn't look into if it was supposed to be one cup cooked or uncooked, so I did one cup uncooked and I don't know how much that ended up being once it was cooked and then I sprinkled some Splenda on top of that to make it a little bit sweet. Oatmeal is another thing that I don't mind so it wasn't too bland or that hard for me to get down and by the time I made it to the end of the day after having six eggs earlier that day and two apples I was ready to have something that tasted different anyway. And then as I said in the beginning, after you have dinner, if you're still hungry, you can have another cup of green tea. But I ended up not having that for each of the three days that I did this. So after day one of the diet, I weighed myself the next day, Tuesday, and I did lose two pounds. So I was really, really excited about that. That was my little spark of motivation to get me to keep going. After day two, on Wednesday morning, I weighed myself again and I lost another two pounds. At that point, I had lost four pounds and I was pretty stoked about that, so I was ready to tackle the third day. And then after the third day, Thursday morning, I weighed myself one last time and I had only lost a pound, which I mean, five pounds total was pretty freaking awesome. I was so excited about it and I felt really good. I had a ton of energy and I wasn't that hungry throughout the whole thing. So I actually really enjoyed the egg diet. And I was telling Sarah on Instagram that I think I will do this from time to time, maybe every few weeks because it was a really good jumpstart to a diet. So I do truly consider this a diet and not a lifestyle change because who wants to eat like six eggs two apples and oatmeal every day for the rest of their lives. So I saw this as a really good like fast or some type of jumpstart diet for you to change your lifestyle. And since then I have been being a little bit better about eating healthier, making sure I incorporate more veggies and eating less of the carbs that are really bad for you. But I do still crave the bad stuff and I think it's because I'm, I'm not in the gym. The gym is what helps me to eat better, live a better life, and yeah. So this has all been really tough for me, but the egg diet just sparked a little bit of joy in me, but I honestly did enjoy it. I didn't think it was that bad. I'll put all the details in the description box below in case you guys want to screenshot it and give it a try yourself. Throughout the three days, I did still do my morning walks, but that was the extent of my working out. I didn't really do anything else aside from that. So yeah, a total of five pounds lost and I'm not mad about it. So that's gonna be it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up and drop some comments below if you have any questions or if you even tried this egg diet. Don't forget to hit that red subscribe button if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you next time, bye. So last week, the Monday after Labor Day, or not Labor Day, the I feel like I'm all